If you logged into Asana recently and everything looked different and you don't know how the heck to find anything anymore, I got you. If you haven't been upgraded yet, I promise you it is coming. So keep watching so that you are prepared when you do get the update. Hi, my name is Samantha. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you're here. I am all about helping you save time and mental energy in your business. So if that is something that interests you, be sure to hit subscribe. And if you like this video, please click the like button too, because that helps me out so much. All right, let's get into the new Asana update. I will show you the ropes. All right, so when you first log into your account, it will look something like this. Um, so your insights are now a detachable part of this. Um, and so you can either see them or you can toggle them down and not see them. If you want it to continue to look the same and have like your projects in a similar spot to where they were, you can keep this here. Um, otherwise, everything will kind of move up. So, but because these are not part of the free plan, I don't use them. So what I do is I toggle them down and then I move these down to the bottom because I don't need to see them. So that is one new feature of this new redesigned sidebar is you can move the sections around as much as you would like and customize it in that way. The next part is this starred section. So this was previously called favorites. Now it's called starred. It still works in a very similar way. Um, now you can take people and have them show up here though. Uh, you weren't able to quite do that before. Um, so that's nice. I can just have my assistant there so I can click on her and view all of her tasks whenever I would like to. Uh, personally, I don't know if I will keep my starred ones here because now there's this new section here um, and it is your top projects or your most recent projects projects you can choose. So it automatically lists them out depending what you choose here. So the top ones are the ones that you have used the most and the recent ones are the ones you have mo used most recently and it would, will auto populate those projects here depending on which option you choose. Again, you can toggle this off and move it to the bottom if you don't want to see that and you just want to keep your starred ones here. But I'm going to play around with this a bit and see what I prefer because I kind of like the idea of it and then maybe I don't need to use this start section. Comment below and let me know what you're going to do. I'm super curious. And then this is a really big change and probably the one that's going to affect most people um, because it's just so different. So in the teams section, they're now grouped. So previously it was the team name and then underneath it was the list of the projects underneath that team. Um, you could toggle it so that it was hidden and it would look more like this. So if you're someone who did that, then maybe this won't affect you as much. But for anyone like myself who previously had them showing underneath each team, except maybe when I was recording YouTube videos, um, this will be a big change for you. Um, as you can see, as I'm talking, you can scroll over the team name and then you can see the list of projects over here on the side. You'll notice one thing is missing from here and that is your archives. So the way to get to your archives now is by clicking on the team and then you will go to this filter option here and view archive, archived projects and they will show up here. So if you wanted to bring one back to life or just check in on an old one, that is how you would view your archives. And also you can't just reorder your projects from within this list either. You have to, again, click on the team and then you can reorder by dragging and dropping here. But you do have a quick access to some more options here. So as you can see, you can scroll over and invite teammates here or create a project here. You can also right click on a team and a bunch of options will click up. You can now copy the link from here, open in a new tab. Some of these were available previously with the three dots, um, but now you it's a right click to get there. Um, and there's a couple more options than there was previously. Another thing that has changed was previously you could go to, you could see a project underneath a team and click on it and drag it and drop it to another team. You cannot do that anymore. Now you have to click into the team and then click this down arrow here and then 
click move to another team and from there you can choose which team to move it to. Another way you can customize this new sidebar is you can now resize it. You can make it quite a bit bigger or smaller and then you can also change the color of this sidebar. You have two options now, light and dark. So to do that, you go here, click on your face and then go into your settings and then go to display. And then here, the sidebar and top bar color, you can choose black or you can choose gray like this. And that is how it will look if it is gray. And then the other big thing that has changed is you'll see the top bar. It all has all of the same functions as it previously did, but it has been rearranged. So now this plus button is now over here. It used to be over here. Um, the back and forward arrows are here where they used to be over here. Um, the search bar is now right in the middle when it used to be over to the side and then the things got moved up that used to be down. All right, so there you have it. That is everything that is part of the new update. Hopefully that explains everything, clears everything up for you. If you are looking for more help with Asana, if you're looking for ways to streamline and really get your efficiency up and get your business streamlined, save time, mental energy, I have the ultimate resource for you. My brand new course is called Asana Essentials and it has trainings in there. It teaches you how to set up Asana from scratch. It has lessons showing you how to use Asana, how to make sure that it works for you, plus 15 templates. And they are not just your average templates. These templates have a strategy in them. They have built out workflows already for you in them and my video walkthroughs showing you exactly how to use them. So head to the link in the description to sign up today. I promise you will not regret it. All right, I hope to see you inside Asana Essentials. I can't wait for you to check it out. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next week.